So, we're on the Conan Exiles Chapter 4 beta here today. Um, I actually, as it happened, fortuitously, I was thinking about playing Myth today. I didn't know what I was going to play. And then I was like, I kind of want to play Conan. What shall I do in Conan? Then I realised that there was a patch on the beta. Can I, like, just briefly show you this, shiznit? Um, patch notes. Yes, there's a patch. Here we go. Um, and... I went through the patch notes, okay, and I was playing Where's Wally, trying to work out what the spot the difference, which actually I'm very good at with pictures, fun fact. I don't know, it's like a secret skill. Um, I couldn't really s spot that much different. I was looking for specific things like things about the bearers not being nerfed, hopeful. I'm going to check that because I did feedback about that being problematic. I don't, I don't know if they would have changed it because of that. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm optimistic, people. Um various things i was kind of looking out for things like i had asked about the lighting at the um shuttle uh siege uh on sipter being really dark and i had to make it permanently night and use like uh what is it called argosian dream dust in order to just have a reasonable experience and, and because i was getting eye strain i'm such a boomer i apologize um so like little things like that um i didn't see too much that was interesting or different but what i did notice was um, and I, I need to double check if this was in the last uh, iteration of these patch notes, but I did see that the Yamatai pillows are now interactable as seating. I don't even know where the frick that is. Where is it now? Can I control F? 26 months of turd walletry. Yamatai, there it is. Um, <laughs> no, lovely. Thank you so much for 26 months of this you know situation <laughs> thank you very much i appreciate it thank you for the support um so yeah yamatai floor pillow is now a proper seat you can interact with you this also means they're now valid spots for ta tavern patrons and followers to sit so i guess we'll test that i went through this whole thing like briefly and i just i can't i really wish god love him thank you for like telling us one that there's been a patch update thank you i appreciate that because i can test things but I would really love it if they could just like maybe highlight what they've changed so that we don't have to play like spot the difference and play detective for like three or four hours. I mean, I'm going to play for three or four hours, but I want to just go straight to the thing that they've changed. Just my thoughts. There you go. Anyway, so we're going to test a bunch of stuff. Let me get back to the game thingy. Let's get rid of this situation. Let's move this over. Um, I have a few things I want to test. So I want to test the hunt. I want to check out the trader because I did briefly see a change at the trader um, when I was like getting a screenshot for my thumbnail. Um, and I want to test the Amatai pillows and check inventory management because one of the biggest things that we have fed back, I think unanimously, is that we need the ability to kind of split inventory. Um, can I interact with people? We need the ability to... Um, split things. You can right click to split things. Split things now. It's no longer right click to eat it or whatever consume the product. Um, but I want to be able to split um, specifically. Mainly, like example, when you're doing a purge, you need to be able to use one gold coin to have a level one purge. So if you've got like a bunch of coins in your because we're super rich. Look at us. We're super disgustingly rich. You need the, the ability to be able to just have one gold coin to get a level one purge. Um, I can split it in half and I can just keep right clicking until I get to one. But I just think that's annoying. And so many, so many of us need like a specific amount. You're like, I want to give this person 42 of something because I don't know why you would want to do that. It's a silly number. It doesn't mean anything. Um, but sometimes you just want a specific number. Um, so I just kind of think it might be a bit annoying otherwise. And lots and lots of people have fed that back that they, they didn't like that. I feel like if they're going to add um, updates and give us new features that make the game more fun, please don't take away stuff that we use on a regular basis. You know, the game is like well over like five years of like play now. And lots of us have our own way of playing things. We've got our little comfort levels. Um, so definitely add new stuff. Give us some... Um, Give us quality of life, but don't take away things that we already had. Like, you know, you've got to keep that in the game as well. So my my hope is that 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 um, they will be keeping, uh, returning the features that maybe they just weren't ready, like splitting, you know, individual items and stuff like that. That's my hope. Um, 
I do want to quickly check the bearer situation because, okay, I deleted all the bearers in like disgust, did I? Um, let me just have a quick look at some bearers. I just want to see if they are the same situation that they were in. I'm assuming they are. Um, they weren't in the patch notes originally uh, anyway. They have been nerfed a lot. Um, Sherpa, 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 Sherpa. Um, so it's these ones, isn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I'm Zaddy, Ina. I don't know who you are, bud. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. Watch me not click the spawners converted thrall and start a big old war. As per usual. Um, this is it. Darfari, Exiles, Hyborian, Hyrcanian, Kushite. Because they have changed um, bearers so that they're all different now. Depending on where you go, you'll get a different one. They have different um, damage modifiers. Um, they have different HP. Some have been incredibly nerfed. If you have a Pell of the Well Travelled, I'm so sorry for you because um, they are a bag of crap now. Um, I'm going to try not to be like ranty. <laughs> I tried to be positive. But I just, I get, I just get like attached to these people, you know. Um, nah, Garfoot, Pella. Poor Pella. Can I have a quick look at you, friend? What is your situation? So when fully leveled, Pella was at like, yeah, um, a thousand HP. Um, is that slightly better? I don't know if that's just RNG. That's probably just RNG, isn't it? And what was he? Buggeration. I don't remember which one he was. Um... Yeah, I just think it's such a huge, huge nerf to do all of a sudden. I don't know which one he was, actually. Um, was he Zingaran? Oh, Rick and Farin. Do I have another Farin? Can we just put these out? I do have a Farin. I'm going to place them here, I think. And do you know what I might do, actually? I might put them somewhere else. Because if I use this place for a purge, I don't want them in the way. Um, I don't want to have to despawn them. This is single player, so I can place people right next to each other. There we go. Come here, my dude. Whoa. There we go just separate you a little bit this is honestly my my biggest um my the my, my biggest thing i'm interested in really because i like a tanky thrall um i wonder if they've tweaked them a little bit actually see the starting health is really low da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. um but the way i play my play style and i've talked about it a lot i've talked about it all through the age of war um, my play style is to do as much damage as possible. I use max agility. I max out all of my damage. Um, I want to do as much agility damage as possible. Max out my agility stats. I'll run around with Elixir of Grace and Salted Exquisite Meat. I use um, my Baltier's Razor and my Vector Corbin. And I just want to do as much damage as possible. So really, I don't care about the Thralls um, doing a lot of damage because I just don't want them to die because I find it to be obnoxious and annoying and kind of inconvenient. And, you know, you get attached to your friendos. Um, he's obviously level 20. Um, let me just level them to 20. Um, this is not very scientific because we're just doing one of each, but it does give you a bit of an indication. But the Nortimers and the Sumerians seem to do the best out of HP. My biggest concern with the kind of whiplash from n big nerfs is um, that they may change them in the future because they're always changing through all HP and damage and things like that. 
but if they if they nerf them really badly, you take them into battle and they die. It doesn't matter if they improve them in the future. You've already lost your thrall, right? Um, so this Pella has done better than he had before. I mean, we could spawn in a bunch of them. I will do a more scientific like dig into them at some point. Fair into the Wild Coast has got four two two one. Uh, Rethrus the Burdened was the best one that I found, which I haven't actually spawned in here. I don't know which one he was then. He should be Sumerian, I think. Sorry if I'm going off on a big tangent here. So this is obviously not the Purge ones. This is just the regular ones that you usually find in the world. Um, Sumerian. Let's have a look at the Nordheimer. And the Sumerian. So Ulrich is the Nordheimer and Rethrus is the Sumerian, I think. Yeah, he starts with 2951. And he's up to over 4000. I mean, that doesn't look that different. So I'm going to I'm going to have to spawn in a bunch of them and really do a bunch of testing. Um I I yes. Initial thoughts is they don't look as bad as they were. Where is Yeah. I think maybe they've improved them a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Hello Terry, hello people joining us. Now I cannot spell. Your rants about Bear is a positive feedback. I mean, it is. I'm passionate about the game. You know what I mean? I love the game. I like Funcom. I'm happy to. I want to support this game. I want to keep playing it. I'm, I'm like punching my hand right now. Um, but I, I like. I want the game to be good. I'm like, you know what I mean? Um, Tom looks sick. Thank you, lovely. I forgot what it was called. It's called the Bestial Regalia. This piece, this piece here. Um, it's in the new Hunt event. Um, which you'll be able to get on in chapter four. You won't have to pay for it. You get it from a trader using gnarled fangs from the new ambush event. Um, it is only the top piece. This um, this stuff here is the dragon hide. Uh, what is it called? Venom void forge dragon hide or something. This stuff from Sipta. Um, and the reason I equipped this with it is because there's a dude in the tavern who shows up now who wears this outfit. So I was copying that. Um, okay, so they look a little less sh bad than they were before, um, but they're still not great, are they? So I will I will do a bit of a dive into that, and I'll need to compare them to what we found, like, pr previously. Um, okay, so there's that. Bearers I wanted to check. Um, not a huge... They certainly haven't been completely reverted. Did I place an Ulrich the Mountaineer? Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh no, Farin. Ulrich, we did have an Ulrich. All right. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at the pillows at the tavern. Do do. Uh, nearly swore for the first time ever. You see, I I'm assuming I have to believe that what you're saying is true, but because I don't, I'm not familiar with any swear words. I just I just can't verify that devilish. Do you know what I'm saying? Everything ship is a series boo boo. Except my character can't carry a thing. Land ship to carry my stuff. I can't. That's it. Yeah. One of the main issues. We're gonna have to test these guys' damage as well, because these guys hit like wet lettuces, didn't they, or wet, wet noodles or whatever. Um, let me add that to my list. Um, test damage. Bear friendos. Yes, I'm writing bear friendos. Don't judge me. Um, bearers, bearers, bearers. Uh, my suspicion is the bearers have slightly better HP than they did before, but I'll have to check damage modifiers and stuff like that as well. Um, okay. So I want to test the Yamatai pillows. Let's place them in our little bent, uh, little place here. Everybody's, this place was full when we started. There's been a changing of the guards. So let's put some pillows in. Um, where are they going to be? Tavern? Um, I have to like relearn still where everything is. Seating, they should be in now. Question mark. Hmm. So I would say they should appear in here. I would hope that they would update this. Unless I'm just being blind, which is very possible right now. Um, where are they? 
I'm just going through everyone. Training, totems, tents, tables, statues, sorcery, smithing, signs, seating. Is there is there one for cushions and pillows? Where are they? Uh, Does anybody know? Yamatai. Oh, somebody will be yelling at the screen, being like, it's right there, you fool. In a much more polite way, I'm absolutely certain of it. Am I being, like, silly? Oh, They've definitely updated some of the items from the event, which is great which we'll have to look at, because they were placeholders, weren't they, originally? Am I, am I missing something? Decorative. Just in decorative. No, not in decorative. So they should be in seating, shouldn't they? Am I just missing them? They're definitely not in seating. So they need to be moved in there, please, windows. Um, I'm sure they're on that. Wall decor, walkways, vehicles, trophies, no. Treasure, no. Training, no. Totems, tents. Tables and desks, no. Statues, no. Sorcery, smithing, signs, seating, definitely not there. Ruins, I know what it is. I can't test it because it was a bizarre item. That's it. I've just realised. No. It, because on the beta, you don't have access to anything you bought in, um, yeah, so we can't test that on the beta, isn't it? Might have to check the artisan table. Yeah, it's because it was an item. So when you're in the beta, you don't have access to the battle pass or bizarre items, basically. Yes. So I can't test the Yamatai pillows. Let me tick that off. Um, can't check. Um, ba -ba -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. I want to test the... Let's see about the damage from the friendos. Um, so who is level 20? Probably nobody. Follow. Level up to 20. Okay, let me get your health set. Um, 4019 he's got after levelling. Okay. So let's test if we can put, um, you have to click on his crotch to give him food, I remember, uh, to interact with him. Let's see if we can give him items without him dropping them now. Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. The best food for these guys is like, these are like wolves, which is strange because he's a bear, but the best food is going to be pork strips for 10 heals per second. Okay, um, if you want him to heal in battle. So let's take him into battle. Um, let's have him fight somebody. Let me put him on, make sure you click on his crotch. It's so funny you have to do that. Um, follow an attack distance. Uh, hold, chase, aggressive, aggressive. All right, come with me, buddy. Let's go fight something. Let me get my weapons out. And eat my usual snacks to buff myself, because I like to be strong. Okay. Can you attack this critter? How much health does it have? It has 68 health. Nope. Hmm. Still quite weak. This guy should be like a one or two, like a two hit, I would say, really. You know, great effect and everything. This is a pet you get at the end of the hunt event if you've done all the things. Let's go fight. Um, let's go fight these Skellington friendos. Because he's like max level as well. He does a kind of moonwalk when he walks because his animation doesn't give him a big enough stride, so he looks like he's sliding across the ground.
So he's healing from his food. But he would he, he would be absolutely useless in any kind of like boss situation. And he's max level, so I think the they haven't they just haven't updated the damage yet, which I'm pretty certain they're gonna do. But it definitely needs to be higher than this. Like 10 at 10 10 damage is bad, isn't it? Very, very low damage, yeah. So he will die from this, just this little fender. You couldn't do him for like use him for anything at all, really, at the moment. If he wasn't at tw level twenty, he'd be dead from this fight. I mean, he's cool. He looks cool. I love him. I hope they don't make him any smaller than that because I think it's cool when they're like full size because this is the, what the boss looks like but he's pretty useless apart from decorative at the moment so i'm interested to see what they decide like 10 10 damage in one hit it's <laughs> so bad Saber tooth are the best things to take you to battle as much as he swings, he hits like that. Yeah, he t he's, t for, he's like a lot of noise and like drama and no damage, really. Come, come, give us, give us bear design. Not fight, yes. Camels have 30 slots. What I don't like about the camels is that they can't jump over things, which I find annoying. He's barely scratching them. Okay, to the corner, Morden. Any bear jokes, immediately to the corner. Don't eat cookies. I mean, this is a, this is appalling, isn't it? So they haven't finished working on these yet. Then I'm assuming there's absolutely no way this is making it into the final build because you have to go through a lot to get this creature, and he can, you know, he can't even fight this dude. He's like two HP. There you go. Well, that took you a while, my friend. Can I, like, give you back your health? There you go. Okay. So, bear damage still hasn't been updated, but now you they don't lose items in their inventory. Great. Okay, that's, a, that's a, an improvement. Let's have a look at the hunt event items, uh, because I can see that this, this statue of Jabal Sag um, has been updated. So, before, it looked exactly like the statue of Zath, because it was just a placeholder. But now this is the, the reward that you can buy from the trader, which is kind of cool, right? It looks kind of weird and hairy and creepy. The, the throne was already working, I think. These are new spike traps that you can click E on. They go into the ground. And they hurt people. I did notice when you use them in purges, they, they kind of do trap people, actually, um, which is kind of fun. Um, and then you, they don't seem to take damage, or they didn't. So let's see if they do now. Um, let me see if I can damage them. Does that seem kind of powerful? Her hammer. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so they're full, full health. Yep, no damage at all. I don't think it's... Is it just because it's my item? But yeah, I'm, I'm certainly I'm unable to damage them. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool that no one else can just break them. Um, I did notice... I did notice that the golems were able to break them. Uh, were they able to break these or was it just the barricades or the palisades? I forget now. I think they were, weren't they? They were blocking missile attacks. They were definitely blocking, um, like, arrows and things, which is kind of handy. I'd like to see the bear pet against rock branch or rock slide. Yes, interesting uh, suggestion, Nasco. But considering he can't even fight a tiny skeleton, <laughs> I don't think he's quite ready for that yet. Um, full of sand and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, he's all like, he's all sound and, and no actual action, isn't he? Really. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm hopeful because I'm assuming that they are going to change like. 
how much damage they do. And then they'll be kind of fun. It's a new creature, um, you know. Yes, but yeah, without level 20, then they're, they're kind of... They, he would have been dead from that fight. Um, so the statue has been updated now. And there is a... What is it called? There is a... Oh, what is it called? Uh, a brazier or something like that, which I saw. Hmm. From the event. What was it called? A basin. I think it was a basin or something. Dun, 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 dun. Which was originally just a placeholder, so we can look at that now. Dun, 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 dun. These are the new, like, placeable mushrooms that you can get the recipe for from the, um, from the trader as well. Palisades, ladders, games, screens. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Do, do, do. These, these are the, like, still placeholders, I guess. Um, but yeah, these are just still blobs. Um, they haven't done anything with these yet. You can learn the recipe from the trader, but they're just identical blobs. Um, where is the basin? There it is. Basin of a Jabal sack. I don't actually know what it does. Is it a feeding trough? What does it actually do? What is it? Is it a feed? Is it a thrall thingy? Because I think it was, uh, it used the, um, the placeholder for it was just the thrall feeding thing, wasn't it? God, I can't speak sometimes. They pr pronounce shrooms it's like a gang of chihuahuas. The new pet is all fur with no... Okay. That's it. All bark and no bite. Thank you, people. Like some blocky missile tags. Did you go max level purge a few days ago and how did it... I did, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the meteor is the hardest level, personally. You'd have to make sure you put your thralls away. You can watch my videos on YouTube. Uh, I went through all the purge level. I went through every single purge level uh, with the new purge. Um, I also did like a bunch of uh, level 9 and 10 testing as well. At least if tiny aeroplanes would swarm around to set. <laughs> How many foundations stack up on each other can a meteorite plough through? I don't know, Inferno. We didn't test that. Um, but they pretty much seem to go through everything. Um... Quite fun if normal humans reacted to the giant pets and ran away. It would be kind of fun. They like screamed and stuff. So it, let's place a thrall thingy, a thrall feeder. Um, so isn't there a way to see who it's feeding? No. So I guess it is just a thrall peat feeder, isn't it? Um, like a whisper at the back of his consciousness rose the vague memory of the name of an ancient god of darkness and primordial fear to whom once both men and beasts bowed and whose children men whispered still lurked in the dark corners of the world beyond the black river um, how do I like freaking scroll down Middle click. Okay. Um, an imposing basin honoring Jabal Sag used to offer a bountiful meal to loyal hunters in a time of war and conflict. So I guess it is just this, isn't it? It's just another thrall pot. It just looks cooler. I mean, it does look cooler. I like it. Um, Squeaky, how can I help you? Do you want to go out? I'm sorry. There's a small cat who is my boss. Bear with. beast has been freed okay 
No, you see, they never, never fix the throughput. I see. I would be obliged to say four to two foundations. That sounds like the correct answer. Concerned about Star Caller because the other day my game crashed during level 10. Can, oh my. So in single player, I, I will have to test on a server or something, but in single player, I didn't really have any problems with the with the purges. But I do realise that people are having issues. Um, so yeah, I think it's just a thrall pot, basically. Just an, another skin for it. Um, those aren't working. Um, let's just go check what the trader's got because it's probably going to be easier there. Um, we'll go through each one. So, that's another thing. So when I was taking screenshots earlier, I did notice a couple of changes here. Let me get out of creative mode because I don't know if these people are going to aggro to me now. So this is the new trader on the map. It's behind the Midnight Grove. Usually you access the Midnight Grove through the, the uh, werewolf over here. This is a new place where there's a, a law giver, uh, a trader. There's an altar that you need to use to craft some lures. Are these going to be aggro? Oh, shizzles. Oh, they're interactable. <gasps> okay. Okay, because I thought if they were going to attack you, because you need to basically come here, speak to this woman, if you want to opt out of... Um, the hunt really she will talk she's very nicely voice acted so is he let's turn on voice um so we can listen all right hunter what do you do bud nothing oh sag nothing so I wonder if they're doing voice acting for it, because if it says it press E to talk, it's either a bug and they're just decorative and aren't intended to say anything. Um Maybe they're just maybe they're just there for decoration. Um she's a lawgiver. Another pilgrim enters the savage garden. She like tells you exactly what to do. And this is the trader. Dude. Lovely weather for a hunt, eh? It is definitely. Um, so the war paint um, you need to wear to do the event. Champion lore you can buy from him, and then you can make higher level versions of that in this altar here. Potion of the hunt you use to teleport to the boss um, at the sort of boss arena, which is a bit like a section of the Midnight Grove. Special regalia is this top piece that I'm wearing here with the cape. Um, scroll feral claws. Okay, these are like recipes for weapons. Let me... Feral claws. Let's have a look at those. Um, what Welcome, else? Hunter. Let me just get all the things. Skull wall hammer. Da -dun, da -dun. Savage skull wall hammer. Welcome, Hunter. Thanks, bud. Um, Throne of Jabal Sag we've seen at our base. Spike Trap we've seen. Basin we've seen, which is a thrall pot. Statue we've seen. Lemurian Brazier. Da -dun, da -dun. Ah. Interesting, okay. Welcome, Hunter. I didn't look at all of the items, the decorative things, really. Um... The mushrooms we've shown you, wall paint, they were just um, placeholders. Mammoth, rhino, panther, were hyena. Scroll emblem. Um, so this is an emblem icon that you can use. Okay. So this now you can see a picture of him because there wasn't a picture before. It didn't look this good. Um, but yeah, you can, for 250 gnarled fangs, you can have one of these pets. Um, all right. So let's have a little look at the... The weapons. Feral claws, 32 damage, 8% armor pen without being crafted by a thrall. When you spawn it in, it's as if it hasn't been crafted by a thrall. So not great. 11 and 8%. And so the non-epic version is 11 damage, 8% armor pen and very low durability. Warhammer is 46 damage, 40% armor pen. Um... So that's the epic version. And the non-epic version is 16 damage and 40% on pen. Let's have a look at the brazier. Oh, it's huge! I'm so pleased! I'm so pleased! Oh my god. I am always banging on about the fact that 
I want more giant braziers. Yes. Um, so it is basically, it's like, um, is it a bit like the things you find in the Exiled Lands, Squirrel? Oh, I'm so pleased. Because we, we're always building, like, giant places, aren't we? Built a giant, like, um, castles and whatnot. Why can't I... Oh, my God. To compare it. It's huge. Holy potatoes. Just give you a bit of scale. Um, there it is, Lemurian Brazier. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, so it's 10 iron bars and 50 stones. Cheap to make as well. Um, yeah, because when you make these, like, giant grand, like, bases and stuff like that, we just need more huge, like, braziers. I'm trying to think. It's a kind of just a giant version. Is it? Is it, like, the braziers over here? Where am I thinking of? Yeah, that's it. It's a Lemurian break. Okay, so it's a it's exactly the same as the ones you can uh, see in the jungle. Awesome! I'm very excited about that. I have a mod which adds a bunch of Lemurian architecture since you just retouch your stuff from the place where you fight the witch queen. Yeah, nice. Jungle temple, jungle butt, butt spot. Did I hear Anna and almost clap? Uh, three by three foundations. Size is not everything. It's definitely not everything. It's okay. Hello, Cortez. Speaking of size not being everything. Hello, Cortez. How are you? Um, do you think we can change the flame color? Ooh, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? You can also build a pyramid out of solid gold with that mod. It's very garish. That is so cool. I'm so pleased. That is amazing. We're gonna we're gonna have fun building with that. Um Look, thank you for lurking, Freezer. Will it be something to add a size rescale to objects? So you can with Pippi, can't you? Um, I kind of, when I was on the server, because I don't really use um, Pippi on my streams. I have it on our server because I don't know how anyone would run a server without it. But you can just resize, like, basic uh, benches and things like that with Pippi. Um, so I think probably with Pippi you can resize a bunch of stuff, I imagine. So it may not matter, but it is no doubt fine things to get your hands on it every now and again. Okay. Sure. Um, no comment. Uh, just watched Mission Impossible, latest one, and saw you in it. Which, okay, who am I being insulted about, Colteus? Some kind of monster. What are you saying? What are you saying? Am I going to VIP you or uh, ban you from my channel? What is, what is the question here? Bounce. Hello, Min. How you doing? I'm back, so it took me a, a while of praying. A Dalgona coffee. What is a Dalgona coffee? I got decaf here, unfortunately. It's very... Okay, wait a second. I need to Google this person. Okay, I'm going to judge our entire future friendship based on this. I mean, sure. I'll take that. Fine. Appreciate that. Checks in the post. That's cool. Sweet. Bless you. Ah. Oh. It's it's a it's a creaming cold coffee. Do you know one of the nicest coffees I've ever had was probably like Vietnamese coffee because it tastes kind of like chocolate and they have it with like condensed milk or something. I had that in a Vietnamese restaurant once. Oh my god! And I became immediately obsessed with it and had to get like a little um, like a little filter thing that you put on your you put on a cup and it just like you put the coffee grounds in. It was so good. Um. Oh. Bad Calendras is ready to ban you. That's so funny. Um, okay, what was I going to test? Right, I want to see what these weapons do when they're crafted with a uh, bladesmith or something. I am really pleased about this. I'm always saying I want more giant um, braziers and things because this is what I use when I want to use a large brazier. Um, and the other, the other like choice we have is. What is it called? Um, what am I thinking of? The Argosian one, right? I don't have any of my DLCs. Do I have? Yes, I do have my DLCs. Hmm. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Hmm. I don't. I don't know why I don't see it here though, because I have all the DLCs, obviously. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. 
So I'm very pleased with that. I'm like very delighted. Okay, more of that, please. More stuff from just like things you found around the Exile Lands. Um, okay, so I have a I have a blacksmith bench over here. Um, okay, so I want to make Warhammer. Let's see what it's like with a bladesmith. Because the problem with these things is they're okay, but you, I just end up using them as transmogs. Um, so the epic version with a bladesmith. Let's see. Um, 57 damage, 42 armor pen. Okay, well, what about with a um, master weapon fitting? 62 damage, 42, uh, 62 damage, 54 armor pen. It's not as good as my Beck to Corbin, which is an, obviously an agility weapon. This is a strength weapon. I mean, it's fine, isn't it? But if it isn't the absolute pinnacle, I would probably just use it as a uh, transmog. Um, so I, sh I guess I'll show you what it looks like. If you want to kind of like style yourself up uh, for like... If you want to wear like Kushite stuff, like hyena fur things, I suppose, that would be kind of good for this. Um... Obviously, it doesn't look any different if it's epic. And then there's the claws. I do miss the old, like, Howl at the Moon um, thing that you had with, like, these because kinds of claws. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you. Are you sponsored by L'Oreal? Thank you very much for 14 months, Calpheus. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. More bony Pictish. Pictish, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Yeah. Savage Frontier stuff. Um Alright. Okay, let's make the um the claws, I guess. Claws, 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 claws. Feral. I need some leather to craft them. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. Bum ba dum bum bum bum. Bum bum ba dum. Bum. Uh, forty damage, eight percent armor pen, compared to thirty-two. So that's with a bladesmith. Um, Sunny, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Thank you, thank you. We're just getting started here. We're just having a bit of a dig into the beta update on the Age of War Chapter 4 for Conan Exiles. Welcome, friendos. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Cal. Thank you, thank you. Hello, friendos. What were you up to? Were you doing some Conan in Gore? What, what, what was the sitch? Um, okay, so they're like, okay, but um, for me, it's more about transmogging. I don't know. If they're not the absolute pinnacle, then it's just a transmog item for my personal tastes um I'm, I'm very excited about the brazier honestly i just love building and whatnot in this game um i guess we could see what it looks like <laughs> in front of here i mean yeah i wouldn't put it up there i'd put it like down here yeah i'm so happy about those that's great i mean this isn't obviously how you do it um, also, oh, so you know the um, the dungeon set is probably going to go really well with this because um, if you go to Dagon's Eye, anything in the jungle that has got this kind of um, mossy, what is that the right word I'm looking for? Like a mossy finish, it's going to blend in really nicely with that just because it's obviously a jungle item. Um... So the dungeon set, it makes sense that they're going to add this. Because the dungeon set's getting an, another extension, isn't it? So it'll go really well with that. Yeah. Cool. Alright. I'm excited. More things, please. Um, what else do we want to look at? Um, inventory management. Her friendos, bosses. So I would like to go through the motions of doing the hunt. So let's get ourselves kitted out to try and get ambushed. Um, I do think that the new ambush is a bit weak. Um, I don't think it's that exciting. 
Um, I think the new event is fine and everything. I think the new bosses and everything. But I think um, because it's supposed to scale up, if you take your friendo, like this guy is now pretty strong uh, in chapter four. Let me give him some more lasting feast. Um, but if I'm like level 60, I'm in like a tough area and I just get one werewolf coming to attack me. It's, it's a bit boring, I think. Um, let me just buff you. Don't mind my bear. Okay. They're so noisy. They're, they're so noisy and they're struggling to kill a scorpion between the two of them. One of them's level 20. Spinus is like, hey mate, don't embarrass yourself, will you? Um, okay, so let's let it be night time. Unfreeze time. Um, and let's kind of like... Um, I'm buffed and stuff. Let's exit creative. Let's actually make it later. Let's go for a little run. See if we can get ambushed. Do, 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 do. I want to see, yeah, I want to see about the ambushes. Um, and then I want to kind of go through the motions of testing the bosses again. See how that works out. Um, it's a giant, it's a giant brazier, isn't it? It's huge. Hello, hello, Sunny. Hello, hello. So excited for chapter four. Me too, me too. I'm always happy for new content. I'm happy that combat feels good again as well. Like, more than anything. Um, don't think it was ever able to harvest crystal from, from... From there maybe somebody here knows uh you know you can't pick up branches with a hatchet did the same did the same happen to crystal in the pit can't have his crystal in the imp cage cave okay let's test that um can we do it along here da, 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 da. advance Um, so also, somebody mentioned, I think Kevin mentioned that he was able to harvest, um, eggs from shoebills in the jungle. Was it the shoebills? I think you should be able to harvest crystal in here. If I remember correctly. Da, 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 doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Um, is this, is this one of the crystal caves? I think it is question mark yes it is okay oh my god uh let's just kill spiders so you must be able to harvest this with pick oh i'll try a pick as well not just a pickaxe Because that would be weird, because that's like surely intended uh, to be harvested. Because you don't want to just pick up one, that would make it super grindy. So I do have two times harvesting on my game. And I'm getting, ah, two and eight. Interesting, let's try the pick. If you can't harvest crystal with a pick, that seems kind of weird. I get why you would remove the ability to harvest eggs with a pickaxe, right? It just doesn't make any sense, right? I do think if you're going to take it away, though, give us another means to to farm eggs. Like, um, in the animal pen, shoebill ostriches in the animal pen. That makes so much sense. Um, let us have a means to farm the eggs so that we could... And, and the whole reason for that would be uh, so that we can make exotic feast enhanced gruel because they're the best healing foods for thralls, especially if thralls don't have very much HP. But no, I don't seem to be able to harvest crystal. Um, that is weird. Silver mine had a harvest. It was the silver mine, yeah. So this should be this should be the same, isn't it? Um, let me test the shoe bills before I forget. Shoe bill, shoe bill, shoe bill. 
There's definitely some near here. Let me just go... Wait, what am I thinking of? Where are the shoebill eggs? Mm. Where is there a nest in the jungle? Apart from in, like, the spider areas. The reason I'm letting it be night time is just because I want to be ambushed by the hunt. Um, normally I would make sure it was day. Speak yourself of a harvest many a chicken coop by jewel wielding pickaxes on the weekend regularly. My local farmers all fear me. I would imagine they would do. Um, she will should defecate eggs like in Minecraft. Goodness me. It is super dark. Um... So we were able to harvest puffball mushrooms with a sickle um, in the sobeco, which was a relief. Um, I just want to double check we can still do, still do that. Yeah. So you can get mushrooms with a sickle, which is marvellous because you need those to make noxious arrows. I hope they don't take that out because, you know, if, if you picking things by hand and getting one individual item, I just, it's so grindy, isn't it? You know? These are the vines, aren't they? Right? Are they the vine trees? Can we get vines using sickles now? I'm just going on a bit of a tangent here. We should be able to get some... Um, we were able to get vines. Yeah, you can still get vines with a sickle. Okay. This is the vine tree with all the bits on the side. You can't get... Um, you can't get bugs with a pick anymore. Um... I tested the, sh the, what are they called? Ostrich eggs? By the summoning place. Um, and we weren't able to get eggs. Oh, we've got an event. So I did notice we, ha we, were, ha we were getting events at Sepham Room. I guess the one above the summoning place is back. Here's the eggs, which we used to be able to harvest with a pick uh, or a pickaxe to get like a full stack. Oh, that's no longer the case. It was always tricky to get them, but um, that was really how I got my eggs for exotic feast. Um, just share the, the the coffee recipe and tag you. Okay, of course, lovely. Yeah. You need more growth on the trunk to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget, and then I'm like, no, they need to look more viney, definitely. Went through the jungle the other day, killed Shubel's girls, and ended up with eggs. That was unofficial, not test. Right, well, that's because it hasn't updated on official yet. Yeah, it's on the beta that it's been updated so that you can't uh, harvest them. Um, I'm assuming that Kevin was talking about the beta. Um, where are there going to be shoebill nests? Uh, in the jungle. Um, we could test the bugs by the galleon. Dun, 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 dun. What map is the hunter event on? Uh, both maps, Vanilla. It'll be on both maps. All the new stuff is on Sipta as well as Exad Lands. And there's new destructible fortresses on Sipta as well. One at Shottle and one at New Luxor. Which is really cool, right? You usually want to have the locust nests to pick up, to pick eggs. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, whichever one you want. I just used to go to Summoning Place. Um, but the whole point is really that you, I think, probably just so that we can't get eggs anymore from it but i just really wish that they would give us another means to get them i can pick what i can pick i get two because i'm on two times harvesting
He is deleting that bus though, isn't he? Apart from that freaking... Don't dip out, bud. Come on now. So he does hit hard. Now, bear in mind, I don't have any points in authority. Uh, because I don't like to... Oh, he's going to die. Hit him? Come on, then. What are you doing, you derp? It's just because he's backed up into a corner. Come on, now. I believe in you. Okay. Can I get you to drink that, my friend? Yeah, I mean, this is the problem with... This is why we like Thrills to have a bit of extra health. Because you never really know what's going to happen. They can get just randomly stuck somewhere. And if you're off kind of fighting and things, you know, you're just kind of doing the thing. You have to babysit them so much so that they don't die. And if you've spent all that time levelling up this, this guy or anybody from the volcano or, you know, any Thrill, Berserkers or whatever... Um, you know, you don't you don't want them to freaking die because you just, you know, turned your back for five seconds and weren't babysitting. Do you know what I'm saying? This is why I really like the, the bearers to be, like, much more tanky. It's nice to just have somebody who just isn't likely to be killed. So, if they do give us um, the down but not out thing that they talked about that they haven't yet put into the game, then it doesn't matter anymore. But until then, I don't want to lose my friendos, you know. So, I think I'm going to be doing the solo series this chapter. Um, like, I started last chapter and just didn't end up. There's a new padding that you get in a bunch of places. Ah, there's only one, though, isn't there? Interesting. Is that another thing for us to test? So, they have made it so that you get a lot of padding when you kill bosses. And it did seem a bit strong. Where the heck am I going now? Um... Spinebreakers, I guess. Let's go to the Spudo. Sorry, I clicked on this one. Let's go kill the spider. Um, and see what we're getting. Because it looks like they've nerfed the padding you get. Is a fatality, but you've got to cancel your combo to get fatality. I don't know where the bearer is. Did we kill the bearer? There's usually one here. Dun, 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 I didn't see a bearer. Are they fighting the spider or something? Okay, let's go see what we get from world bosses now, because it, I think they've probably nerfed the amount of padding you get. Do, 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 do. Da, dun, dun. Do, do, do. So, so the biggest problem is going to be if you are if you like to take a thrall around with you and you don't put a bajillion points into damage, either strength or agility, because I I kill things really quickly, so the person following me is going to be very well babysat. Um, if you don't put a lot of points into either authority and you don't do a lot of damage yourself, the thrall is probably more likely to die because um, you aren't like cleaning up around them as they kind of you know fight. He's checking his emails, yes. Hello, Snowy, hello. Of course, my dear, it must look down, I think. Oh, no, it's you again, I know. I'm such a spooder, spooder bully. Spider has been changed in Chapter 4 to make him less noxious, uh, which we can't really show here because we've got a friendo. Um, I did ask about the crop boss. Um... Fight. Okay, <laughs> I 
was just kind of scared then. Um, okay. Four pieces of padding. Okay. All right. Um, so not just one. Let's check some of the world bosses. Let's check the croc. And I'm going to leave my friendo out of it, actually. Just so I can check the tracking. Dun, da, dun. Do, do, do. Let's do our daggers situation. Dun, da, 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 da. Do, do. Do, do. Hello, friend. So the biggest problem with the croc is this. <laughs> You end up um, surfing on him. You end up getting stuck in his collision. You, you can't avoid his face. And he, unlike the other, like a lot of the other creatures, he hasn't been adjusted so that his tracking is still too overly tuned, right? So obviously I have a bajillion points in agility. I'm buffed. My armor. But you kind of have to, like, be at his face. Okay, I also have a lot of armor, so I can show you. But look at this! Look at the turning. It's too much. It's way too much. Like it's it's completely ri ridiculous. So I have fed that back. I would like to see that kind of tweaked. Um, do we have some heals? Sorry, sir. Da -dum, doo -doo -doo. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's trick go again. Hi. Wait, let me get my daggers out. But it just becomes kind of an annoying fight because you find you you're stuck in his hitbox too much of the time. And he's just like following you around. It's just annoying. You can stand and tank him and just kill him faster. Um, but it's just, it just, and he's changing. And the thing is, because the spider, the spider's fine now, but because this spider and the croc are so like ubiquitous, there's like so many freaking crocodiles on the Exad lands. You're gonna, you're gonna fight this boss possibly more than anybody else. You know, if you like farming weapons or whatever. It just needs to feel better than that, I think, personally. A cheeseburger and fries time! Very nice. Uh, dragon armor sets you don't inside you in your exile lands, but they're not named as void there. Mm -hmm. Death animation with the spider boss is super really active to the killing blow. Yeah. I really get stuck underwater. I only notice I'm so far away. Aren't I? Oh, your thralls, yes. Is there a way to get the void dragon armor in exiles? Is it from the arena? Is it just like the ribs and stuff? You get it from there. I never usually craft it, actually. I just craft the ribs, which you get from the arena. Right, look at him, though. It's just... It needs fixing. There you go. So we got two padding from him. It does seem like it's a bit nerfed. I guess the question is as well is going to be... Um, the Scipter Sieges. Um, they, you get a lot of padding from the Scipter Sieges. Um, oops. Let's check other bosses. Um, dun, da, da, dun, da, dun. Shall we get ourselves a Sandstorm Breathing Mask? Dun 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 Let's go fight Rock Branch. Da da dun Do 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 This way? Question mark? There he is. Dun 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 Thank you, I have to go see if I can get the recipe. In the pits, yes. Do 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 Does he still have a chest here? He did last time I was here. Uh, 
Badum, badum, badum. Chest is gone from here. Isn't it? It used to be like right here. Yeah. That's kind of sad actually. Because. So it was a world boss chest. Um, I would usually like steel feud to fight him probably. Because it was very tough, you had to have a sandstorm breathing mask. Or you have to be very quick to run in here. Um, he has a very big AoE branch attack, which makes him kind of tough. So the flea... Um, there's the branch attack. So the flea, the flea option is quite useful actually. If he gets into trouble in these kinds of bosses, like rock slide and this this guy, because they have such a big AOE. Before you had to hold down E on your friendo to get them to disappear. No, you can attack now. He'll stay fleeing until you lose aggro and start fighting someone else. Hitting his collision here. There we go. Uh, one piece of padding. Okay. Interesting. So we're getting like one padding or like three? Question mark. But that's a change in chapter four. We never used to get padding from it. I don't know why he's got feral flesh in his inventory. Uh, all right. Let's just check check, <coughs> check some other friendos. Um, the spider behind the galleon. Forget the exact location. Can you still harvest crystal from the rock noses? I assume so. I haven't checked that. What was I looking for? The spider. Um, this way. Need my bearings. Uh, there, right. Bum, bum, there he is. Spooder. Spooder friendo. Stuck in the ground. Bum, bum. So it, it does feel like the padding has been nerfed a bit. Which it did feel a bit over generous, I guess. Um, but I was joking that because your thralls were going to die, you're going to need a lot more padding. So Spinus is going to hit a lot harder, or any of the Volcano Thralls, if you put points into Authority. I've got no points of Authority, um, bear that in mind. So he hits hard, but he'll hit a lot harder. Four pieces. Okay. So I guess it's RNG how much you get now. Um, who else can we test? Uh, scorpion? Scorpion around here, right? Oh. Uh, jumping from a height and forgetting I'm not in creative mode <laughs> seems to be a new thing that I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, we could test to see if we can harvest uh, the rock noses for crystal. I would be surprised if they took that out because that's kind of a fun feature of the new rock noses since they reworked them. With whatever like area they were in, they would drop that kind of loot. Not 
no padding from this one. Interesting. Okay. Um, two, seven, five, six. It's just admin him up to full health. Um, okay, let's test the rock noses. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to check. I might not have thought of. Um, dun, da, da, dun, da, dun. Okay. Let's kill some rock noses. They haven't come out of the ground yet. So what are you giving me? Brimstone salt. Okay. So it should be the other coloured dudes, shouldn't it? It should be the, the bluish colours. Oh, we got 34 crystal. Is that from... Let's check scientifically. Okay, this, is, this should be a crystal fellow. That should be a brimstone fellow. Yeah, you still get crystal from rock noses. Why can't I drop you? Um... So usually you can just press space and just keep pressing space. So this is a bit buggy, I think. You should be able to just drop all of those. Do you know what I mean? I have to like click off it and click back in order to drop it. Is the game just like a wee bit loud? Um, so caves. Where's Hanneman's? I forget where Hanneman's is exactly. Is it here? Wow, did I do it straight away? Above H. I did. That is the first time that's ever happened. Dun, dun, dun. Do, do. Dun. So I want to see if I can harvest uh, crystal from anywhere else, just like to be a bit more thorough. So there should be a mini boss in here. It's so dark. Where's the dude? Okay, crystal. So there is crystal here. Yeah, so I am getting different amounts every time I click. But if I don't know why you why would you take out the ability to harvest crystal with a pickaxe or a pick? I don't that doesn't make logical sense. The taking it away from eggs makes sense. But like I should be able to harvest crystal using a pick. Unless they're adding some feature that means that crystal's going to be really useful and then they have to take away the... Stop it from being OP. This is the mini boss. Yeah, so not sure of the logic there. Maybe just a bug. Maybe unintentional. I didn't remember that. I was wondering what that was for a minute. While we're here, we may as well kill this dude. Hi, friend. Goodness me. That is so OP. What have we got? We've got the Staff of Hanuman. What is that like now? 36 damage, 9% armpen. I mean, good durability. Explosive guardian head, silent legion boots, because people have a chance to drop the armor they're wearing now in the Age of War. A withered heart. Some aloe. Okay, we can exchange this. Hanuman's gift. You have a bunch of hearts in your inventory, you can exchange them for random items, basically. Sometimes you can get eight pets and stuff. Kind of cool. Um, all right. So yes, no crystals with a pick or a pickaxe. Seems like a bug. 
of incest live kills several sheep bills getting oh you talk about when you kill the creature rather than from eggs yes um so you've always so you've always been able to get eggs from harvesting shoe bills haven't you or not always right but at least in you know in recent history um but not from the eggs themselves from the nests so i guess that's going to be a way to get them um Nothing from them. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. So, I mean, the fact that you could go around and kill the birds and get the uh, the eggs is cool, I guess. I still want, a, like, a way to farm them or something. Um, they did say... They did change something to do with the uh, fish traps, didn't they? These you were never able to get eggs from, as far as I remember. Shoot, like, shaleback eggs. I mean, you could hit, uh, click on them. But I don't think I was able to harvest those. I may, maybe that I just couldn't and I wasn't crouching or something. Um, what's new on Conan? Oh, loads. I've got a whole freaking, um, check the YouTube channel. There's a load of stuff. There's a new event. Uh, what is there? There's new uh, siegeable fortresses in Sipta. There's a new trader. Um, they've fixed combat in my opinion. Staff of staffing summons a thrall who works for you for five minutes before unionizing. Never know. Um, just imagining your avatar humming happily as she slaughters her way through the exiled lands. Yeah. It's pretty much what we do here, really. Humming happily whilst modifying. Was that a sorcerer staff? A sorcerer's staff on the floor. Was there a staff? Do I need to go back? Dun, do, do. Um, okay. Um, yes, I don't think there's another... I, I don't think they've added the means to split by one item. Um, they've changed... Um, they've changed some things to do with... Uh, through all interactions, inventory management. Um, you can't split by a specific amount by dragging anymore. You can right-click to split them in half, and you have to just keep doing that. Um, yeah, they've got they've added a bunch of different like filters. You can filter by different types of materials. They're kind of smart filters. Um, there you there's no custom sorting anymore. Custom sorting is no sorting. Um, yeah, um, and the biggest problem people have talked about is before you could customize the sorting and then you could uh, change it to by heaviest and it when you went back to custom it would retain your sorting now it doesn't retain it um because you can see i can do if i move that here and then i go to heaviest and then I go back to no sorting it just it just doesn't fix it um stuff was saying on the floor inside home in cave first i don't know before reaching the boss there was a staff there okay Let's have a look. We went too far. Squirrel. Finding the Hanuman cave is like, honestly, it's like my nemesis. Isn't it like... Oh, it's there. I've got it marked now. Dun, 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 dun. There was a staff on the ground. Are you talking about by the entrance? Or are you talking about further in? I have to be sociable. All right, then. Thanks for hanging out. Where was it, Paolo? It was lying on the floor inside the cave, the first segment. 
before reaching the mini-boss area. I didn't see a staff on the ground. I don't know. I mean, there are bodies there now, but... I don't know. Who knows? Um... Okay, let me check. What else to look at, really? Dun, dun, dun. Um... Fatalities. Alright, I wanted to test the boss fights again to see if anything's changed with that. We haven't been ambushed yet, have we? Let's make it evening. I don't know, sometimes playing with admin commands doesn't f like fully work. Um, I also have nighttime on really quite like fast, usually. I don't know if I do now. That looks like normal, actually. We should be ambushed as long as we've opted into the event. As long as we haven't opted out of it, because its default is on. is the fatality fatalities are new you get a buff you get a buff to agility and um, strength and agility by 10% you get 20% um, health boost if you've taken damage um, and a stamina regeneration increased by 15% da -da 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 -da. right let's Let's lock time. Da -da -da. Moon shouldn't move now. Da -da -da -da. See if we can get ambushed. Um, in the meantime, I guess we will um, do the boss fights. Bum -ba -dum. It's not going to be very good at night time though, is it? Let's run around Buccaneer Bay and see if we get ambushed. Um, didn't mean to give up. That's alright, it's no trouble at all. I don't know what it was though. I'm always happy to go back and have a look if I've missed something. Dun dun. Do, 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 do. So I want to know if they've buffed the ambushes because I, um, basically, whenever it's night time, you should get ambushed by were hyenas, and then when you kill them, you get you can get like a map, like a hide map, which tells you where to go. Although you can just go to the beam of light on the map, which is near the den, um, uh, and you get like about ten old fangs, which you can use to to buy things at the trader. Um, and I thought it felt kind of a bit weak when you're, like, high level. I was running around with, like, a max level, like, Delincia or a Spinus or something. And it just felt very quick to kill them. Um, it, you can opt out of the event and they won't attack you till you're level 10. So if you don't want to be ambushed, uh, when you've just started the game or something, you can just run up to the den, to the new trader. Dun, dun, doo doo. Do, 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 do. Your thrall will steal your fatality, eh? We killed the croc boss and see how many padding we get while we're up here. Dun, dun. I could use a one handed sword in the nighttime fights, couldn't I? Then I could use a. a, a, a what is it called? A torch. Okay, 
Right, well, let's go up to the trader area and just make sure we've got events switched on. Otherwise, we're, like, wasting our time. Went and pranced around the Black Sail ship and realised they never really found that location. It's always something new with this game. You're talking about the, the Galleon? Yeah, Galleon's awesome. Um, yeah, let's double check that we've got everything switched on. I don't know what they're going to do with these guys. I don't know if they, this Chris E to talk is a placeholder because they're going to say something. Maybe they're going to sell something to us. Uh, or if it's just that they're not supposed to have that. Um, but they're just kind of place placeables. Um, right, she's the one who I can switch it on and off. I desire to join the a while and listen. Speaking of people falling from the sky, the song, It's Raining Men, and the song, Let the Bodies Hit the oh Floor, are both about the same event from different points of view. Lovely. Thank you for that. I can't see who that was yet. Never know. Thank you for that. For that. Um... So every time I've clicked Another on this, pilgrim, it's saying I desire to join the hunt. Already resides Am in the I? Of your mind. You the Lord of all it should give me the option to opt out. Of already resides so that seems like a bug. So I wonder if I'm... Should we re-log and test it? That's usually the best way to deal with these things. Let's get Spinus somewhere safe. Let's re-log and see, because you're supposed to be able to opt in and out of it using uh, by clicking on here. It did work before. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Do, 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 do. Another pilgrim enter. Join the hunt. Of Sag already it, I think it's bugged, honestly. That's supposed to change to I'd like to opt out if you're opted in. So I don't know if we're going to get. Okay, so in the meantime, let's just do the boss stuff. Um. So we got. Three mini bosses around the exiled lands, and then another one under the uh, Almeria Fortress to defeat. Um, where are the altars here? So we need to equip the war paint that you can buy from the trader. Is it this one? Jabal Sag Hunter. Where's my paper doll? Yeah, this is the hunt. So you've got to be wearing this and you've got to be naked for this to work. And then you get you get this challenge buff. There we go. So I guess we'll fight him with Spinus and see what happens. Shall we? Shall we move you? Should I put you out of the way? I don't know if I've ever been on these cliffs before in my life. I don't know why. Strangely. Kind of a cool place to have a base, actually. Isn't that weird when you realise this? You've like, I have 7,000 hours in this game, I've just realised I've never been on this like, exact cliff. There you go. I thought I'd been everywhere. Dun dun dun. I have over there. I had a base over there once, like over those hills, but I've never been on here. Isn't that funny? It is to me, anyway. Um. Oh, they're fighting each other. Right, you stop following for a second. Let me go fight this critter. Um, he doesn't really need to be that far away, does he? What am I doing? Let me get him back a bit closer. I just don't want him interfering, really. Just leave him on top of the cliff. Oh, I guess I was putting him away from the silverback there. He can fight this guy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's put him here. Dun, 
Where are you, buddy? There we go. Usually I like jump in the air so that he comes to me. I don't know why. It seems to work. Just one of those things. Right, let's fight this first critter. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay, so the champion lore you buy from the Trader 2. Da -da. Just a regular one. We need four of those all together. So imagine we bought those from the Trader. We put it here. Let's get out of creative mode. Okay, we've got our challenger buff that we get from the war paint. It's got an absurd amount of HP, but we do loads of damage with this war paint. Gotta be naked to get the challenger buff. Your thrall can fight him too, but they won't get the buff. They'll basically do nothing to him. Make, make sure you have a decent amount of HP. I'll let him hit me though, see how much damage he does. 676. There you go, down to 631. He doesn't do too much because you're not expected to be wearing any armour. But agility is handy for just dodging. These guys are just flesh creatures, so you should be able to do all the debuffs to them. Bleach gout, poison, sunder, cripple. He tracks very kind of his tracking is very tuned on this particular guy, though, so. You just kind of want to dodge away from him, really. We could just tank him. Okay, so yes, you need to get to these brands so you can uh, craft the champion lore. What is it called? The grand champion lore. And then they drop these gnarled fangs. Okay. Um, I don't think we get anything special from these guys, no. Demon blood. Feral flesh. Glowing essence. Okay. Um, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go fight the rest. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I guess we'll leave him back home. Da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. Right, you stay here, friend. Okay, so that's the panther. Um, then there's a mammoth. There's somebody at the Temple of Frost. There's another guy. Where's the other guy? Oh yeah, the mammoth is, the rhino is by the galleon, that's it. Dun, 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 dun. Um, the paint doesn't give you a buff towards anything other than the bosses. Let's exit creative. Here's the altar. Okay, we've got our challenger buff. The rhino. So the rhino wasn't very able to hit us very well. It's quite slow and derpy. Which I think is fine, really. I mean, you're naked. You might not have 700 HP. You might not have the most OP weapon in the world. Or be buffed to, like, fudge. Uh, have I lost my buffs? 
Yeah. Listen, I'm not wearing any armor. I'm here for a specific occasion. So that, that person will die. Because they, they had one HP. I would probably use a hammer on these guys. Thank you for the follow. in a brand the fangs you can use at the trader okay what did I drop hmm okay let's go fight the the last one that's roaming the exile lands uh, up here the mammoth very cold here with no cold protection at all from obviously from armor we obviously have to guess up here um, you can ride your horse to this location without any proper like specific cold protection as long as you're wearing armor it should be fine and if you ride the horse up to this area on the map um, you can avoid things like saber tooths and wolves uh, but it's obviously very dangerous to get to this location Bum, bum, bum. Shall I, what should I use for him? Should I use daggers? So I can just kind of move. Should we fight down here, bud? Because it's hard for me to hit you on the hill. How do we go too close to the temple? Don't remember being... No, no, he's, he's new to the event. These bosses are new to the event. He was never here before. I just summoned him. Probably stick with that hammer. I'm finding it hard to hit him. But it's always the way, I guess, if you get onto like uneven terrain. I 
I feel like the fight is also taking longer than before. <laughs> Always makes me giggle. Grind. Okay. Bangs and the brand we got. Okay. Elephant hide or thick hide, demon blood, elephant hide. Okay. So now we've got the items we need to craft the better lure. Which you can do at the trader. Bum, bum, bum. Do 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Did we do all of them? Yes, we did all of them. So now we can craft the grand champion though. And then we can buy a Lovely potion for a hunt, eh? from this guy. We can drink the potion to take us to the boss arena. Just like the Midnight Grove potion, or Potion of Midnight. You can leave through here um, and it takes you to Sapporo, just like when you're in the Midnight Grove. I'm going to go daggers, I think, for this. And champion lure. Quite like this boss. Hi, buddy. This is a phased fight. You can get this pet at the end once you've done all these things. Do gotta make sure you wear your wall paint for this as well. Who are you fighting, brother? These are the heart's blood daggers. Which are really cool. Because they do bleed and a gouge. You could use poison daggers as well if you wanted to. Or anything, really. Whatever you feel comfortable with. If I'm fighting naked, I want to use daggers. Just my favourite. I like to be nimble. This is just water. Okay, he hit us. He's quite fun to dodge. I like it. Let's switch weapons, shall we? Now we can stack some sunder on him. Reduce his armor. Oh, they changed it. 
Ooh. That's new. That's new. Oh, I like that effect. Oh my god. Look at it. That's different. Oh, I like. So it was like a fire kind of thing that he did on the ground. Look at it. Nice job, art department. Holy crap. Or animators or... I mean, wow. Doesn't that look cool? He's like, excuse me, I'm a fearsome creature. Does this do damage to me? No, it doesn't. Dude. So I wonder then if the the the, the next boss, if it looks different than this, because it looked the same, didn't it? Oh, look at it. It looks so sick. Doesn't it? Barely hits you with his monkey in about. Yeah, I'm just very quick. And I like timing my, my dodges and stuff. I think, you know, you know, if you're used to fighting in this game, you're good at fighting, you get geared up. You should be able to avoid things, you know? It's the whole point of agility. He looks so cool! I'm freaking super impressed, honestly. Freaking GG's. That is so cool. He didn't like all that happened before was he he slammed the ground and it was like it was like a fiery kind of, it was like a meteor had hit or something. That is beautiful. It's like he, he's kind of possessed by Jabal Sag. So cool. Shriek Shrike Scythe. That was super cool. <sighs> Blur is Javel Sagal up there. That is so cool. Let's harvest him. We still have the silly bug where you like roll. Tablet of power, demon blood, bone, same as usual. Tablet of power will give you 60 feet points. Potion of bust your memory. Potion lost in Okay. Oh, so many respec potions. That's a lot. So basically when you defeat demon creatures, uh, am I, what am I dropping here? No, I'm dropping the wrong things. So normally you click, you press to in the old, like chapter three, you do space bar and it would stay on the this one here. So you could just press space bar to drop all of those. Yes. Now it moves up. Hmm. So you have to click on the lowest one. Basically. That's dis disconcerting, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Interesting decision. Uh, yeah. Be care just be careful if you're dropping a bunch of stuff. Okay, cool. We got some more fangs. Um, so yeah, if you eat that, you gain some feet points. Um, okay, so now we need to go back. Um, let's let's go to our tavern. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so it doesn't put you a separate room like the other one. It puts you back at the trader. Of course it does. Okay, there you go. Um... So what do you want for here? The Melodorous? Oh yes, the Ancient Blood, right. So do that, then go to the one at the Stygian Fortress at Almeria. Do I guess, do we speak to the tavern guy first? But, um, I think he gives us that recipe, doesn't he? Does any? Bum, bum, bum. Let's speak to our tavern friend first. Uh, Zill or whatever his name is. Do do do. But, um, this friend over here. I know a hunter when I see one. Law of corruption. It's the melodious thing, I guess, is what we. Give me that being said. No matter. 
This guy tells you where to find the boss that we're about to go to. Yes, this current grand champion of Jebal Sag is not quite right, are they? Too powerful. Some dark magic possesses them, yes? I wonder... I wonder at the nature of gods, how growing divinity turns them into a multiplicity, how each of their extremities might gain agency, like a worm's cloven head becoming two. <laughs> no doubt others have offered you advice on how to deal with this corrupted champion. I offer you an alternative. A predator should not only be mighty. I oh, that, have oh, we missed it. Give In a dark, forgotten that. place. No. I. Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> no doubt, a predator should, in a there. dark, forgotten yeah. place, seek out. So it's the same message on Exad Lands as on Scepter. Walks as a man. It just says dark, forgotten One place. Of Jebal Sag's first okay. champions. A little. Okay. Respite. So then you go to the seat of Almaria. Da, 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 da. Going through the motions so that I can uh, make sure you wear your armor for this. Um, and this has obviously got its own like challenges <laughs> because uh, you have to fight your way at least um, into this like location. Um... Let's get a stack of timed explosives. Um, and to get in the door, um, let's assume we didn't bring all that crap with us. Why do I have two star metal pickaxes? Question mark. Um, so what do I have? 94. Generally what I would do is eat and we can manage like this actually we are going to need more potions though um i would just eat one um elixir of numbing so i could carry this stuff um but I, actually i think we're okay so i'm not in creative i'm not in creative not in golden cloak okay so we fight our way in i've got 10 explosive thingies i only have to get through one door this one large gate, which is like five explosives to get through. Fatality. Could have got fatality from either of those. Okay, these guys drop decent heals and stuff. It's worth picking up and shade bloom, which you can use to make. Um, what are they called? Greater pets, if you want to. You can make shade spice food. Five of them. Okay, set one off. Okay, breach. And then we need... I don't remember how many we need to get through the next... The, like, the door. Maybe two to get to the boss. Um, but I've got five here. Here's the door. So it should be two. That's it. Biggest problem with these is you can't roll while you're using them. We just deal with these fudges. Uh, 
This is why I love my two-handed sword. Just cleaving through groups of enemies. If you play solo, it's very handy. Okay. So it is quite tough to place them on those those steps, which takes a bit of time. It's just kind of inconvenient, really. Okay. You just want to place one. You die here, I think. Hello, Will. Hello. That was a lot of people, wasn't it? I was just, I was like, I just want to place it. Do you know sometimes I'm just freaking impatient? Yeah. One of those things, really. Let's heal up. Um, eat an elixir of grace. Eat some salted exquisite meat. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> let's, let's get our stuff back. Da -da -da -do. I don't know, actually. I probably Yeah, I should be able to get my stuff. I should be able to run in there and get my stuff back. Because we haven't killed the boss... They shouldn't respawn, but this is single player. And if you run out of render range and back again, um, things tend to respawn. If that gate is shut, oh my god, that's obnoxious, isn't it? Okay, so two of these. Okay, and then into the, what do you call it, the cave, I guess. Um, I did test it. Um, I haven't tested it, obviously, yet on this version of the beta, because they have updated stuff. Um, but I was able to just, as long as I could breach that door and run in here, only like a couple of people would follow me down here and I could just kill them and deal with the boss. Um, this is the cave. This is the altar that we need. And we're, what we're trying to do is get ancient blood so we can craft the next level of uh, lure to fight the next type of boss. Okay. Um, I didn't bring... Wait, I can just use a regular champion lore, right? So let me take off my armor. Ah, because I died, I need a new war paint. So make sure you get another war paint from the trader, which isn't very expensive. Go, equip it. Obviously, I don't have, like, nudity turned on, but your character will be nudy. Um, but, um, okay. Let's spawn in the next boss. I'm not in creative. I'm not in God and Cloak. This is a wear hyena. Da, da, da. Hi, buddy. I've got my challenger buff. It's quite a dark room to fight in. It's not too bad. It's just when I'm streaming. I don't like it when it's like super dark, personally. It's not like as dark as it could be. We could fight somewhere else. Like over here, maybe. But we get kind of stuck. And I don't like to be stuck when I'm fighting. Good way to get killed.
do do do. Might I'm not gonna die fighting a boss, am I? Is it? I guess when I can't see, my attention goes a bit as well. Because I can't see him that clearly. You could, like, apply a debuff on your, like, sword as well. You could put, like, poison debuff. I never do that. I don't know why. I think it's because you have to keep reapplying it mid-fight. And if I can't just use it throughout the whole fight, it just feels kind of silly. I feel like his... Has his damage been buffed at all? I don't know. This is the first one I've gotten that's got my health down this far. There we go. So we get ancient blood from him. And we get some gnarled fangs. We can harvest him just to check what we get. Ooh. Fighting naked, I'm using daggers. Now that's my facial. I should carry this muncher with me for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's it. Okay, nothing too exciting. Hyena pelt and feral flesh. Some teeth. Okay. Um, so now we can go to the trader again. Do do. I want to see what the next... I, I hope they've changed the way the next boss looks as well. That'd be exciting. Because they looked identical in the previous iteration. So now we can make the Melodorous lore. But we need to make a Grand Champion. <coughs> Excuse me. So we basically have to kill those three mini-bosses again. Lovely weather for a hunting. Um, so let's buy a Champion lore. And I'm just going to spawn in the brands. Um, rhino, panther, mammoth. Um, so you're going to make the grand champion law, and then use the ancient blood. You can just do that, and it'll like it'll it knows you've got all the things to craft the previous version. So then we can take the melodious. Grand Champion Law. Back to the boss arena. Welcome, Hunter. Thank you, bud. Buy a potion. There we go. That'll take us back to the arena. And then we've got the next boss to fight, which is the final boss, as far as I know. Oh, bugger. I've got to remind myself now. I do this every time. I have to wait for it to expire, don't I? I don't know why you have to wait for it to expire, honestly. I do this every time. Tainted. It turns into a tainted Grand Champion lore. So it has like a 24 hour thing on it. I guess it slows you down from finishing everything in one day. Um, but you got to wait for that to expire in 24 hours and then you get the tainted Grand Champion lore. There we go. Are we ready for this, people? That's it. Hey, I'm excited. I hope you're super cool. Maybe this is the fire dude. Hi, bird. Ooh. So he's already in that phase state, isn't he? A phase two dude. Interesting. So he starts with that sort of ghosty Jabal Sag kind of aura situation. Okay. I don't think the tick damage is very quick. 21, 67, yeah. I don't think the tick damage is very good from the daggers because he's just got so much HP. So it's the damage from the daggers themselves, I think, that's like 
I don't know. It doesn't look like the tick damage is multiplied as much by our challenger state, right? I'm interested to see what happens when he phases, or when he's in this next phase. I do find it harder to do dodge people if I'm not using daggers. I feel like I'm just much more nimble. Maybe that's just psychological though, I don't know. Phase two. What are you gonna do? Scritch, scratch, scratch. So my cat's talking to him. So no visual change for this guy. Did he get bigger? I didn't think he got bigger. I would expect this guy to look different in some way than the previous guy. I wonder if they're working on that. You know what I mean? Maybe not the final iteration. But I love this, like, ghost effect. It looks so freaking cool. on me feet sir I hope they never nerf the mobility that we have now because I've I felt like it feels really good I don't want to lose that I don't know if the fight feels longer like maybe all the fights feel a bit longer. Okay. One or two you can gain as well. Just one, Garvin. This loop is just getting the phone number of the next one. <laughs> Let's harvest him. Tablet power, demon blood. Yeah. So what you get from fighting this guy is this pet. Because this expires, this corrupted savage horn. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, this will expire into Gura the Hunter, basically. Um, I did test it and uh, I kept one in my inventory for ages and it does definitely turn into... Um, you search for Horn. Savage Horn, I think. Savage Horn it turns into. And it's basically Gura the Hunter, which is the, the bear that we have. Even though it calls it a musical horn, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it's these guys. So this is the guy with, uh, what level are you? Level zero. This is HP at level zero, and this is his HP at level 20. I admin leveled him. They do nothing for damage at the moment, but they haven't finished working on them yet. Um, they have quite fun attacks. Um, oh, he's got better HP. Um... Interesting. So is that because he I spawned him in earlier? Or is it RNG? 
Um, hmm. Is that because I spawned one in earlier? Because now this guy starts with 2,557, right? Two slots. Hmm. Let's have a look. Two five five seven. Yeah. So I think because I spawned one of them in before the update, the other one just 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 got the old HP, which is interesting. That it hasn't updated actually. Because they all start with two five five seven now. Yeah. Let's level them all up to twenty. See what they get. Holy crap! What? Oh my goodness! What's going on here? You gotta interrupt their crotch. Oh my god, 15,000! 10,000. Uh, they got health buffed. <laughs> they got a bit 13,000. Giant health buff. Holy crap. Got those HPs? Bloody hell. I don't know if that's a bug. Um... It's damage modifier is one. I mean, there's no point checking ranged because he's not going to be able to use it. Um, yeah. Huge HP. Crikey. Look at that. Why do they squat like they're in the loo? Listen, Rico, they don't like it when you ask them about that. They don't want to draw attention. The bear is above the NAF fighter apes. Yeah. They don't care, bears. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But, like, tr let's, should we try and take one of these into, um, like, the wine cellar? I mean, obviously they don't have the damage yet, so they're just going to be tanks that do nothing. I mean, this, they surely they're not going to keep them like this. Um. One, five... Three, four, six. Maybe they just haven't given them a damage modifier yet. Maybe that's what it is. But you on like a short follow leash. Um. Okay. Let me get myself a um a short sword so I can actually see when I'm in a dungeon. Where is my bladesmith? Over here. Da, 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 da. Right, let's get a short sword. A star metal short sword. Um... Bam, bam. Crafted with a bladesmith from um, Mans of the Dead and we'll put a master weapon fitting on it. It's just so I've got a one-handed sword if I want to use it. Go. 68 damage, 29 armor's pen. Take that with us. We'll give him a 10 heals per second food, like um, his 10 heals per second food is this cooked pork strips, which you can craft in your stove. Bum, bum, which is pork, salt, and spice, so it's not too expensive. Raw pork, salt and spice. You can get salt from um, grinding stones or you can get it from the salt flats at Brimstone Lake. 
just from harvesting stuff. Um, in spice, you can use just plant fiber in a grinder. Uh, pork, use a cleaver on, pork, on pigs in the north, uh, which is like anywhere in this brown patch here, but like a lot of places around here, you'll find like boars. I just use a cleaver on those. Um, so pork strips. And that'll be his 10 heals per second food. And they have fixed it now so that uh, he no longer loses stuff in his inventory. It was all pets, I think, at one point uh, on the beta. Um, carry other stuff, yeah. Um, let me dress myself appropriately. Make sure I've got heals. And let's see how he survives somewhere like the wine cellar. Uh, I've got some healing arrows. We can try those. All right, buddy. You want to fight with me? So like, actually, I don't like fighting. Can I give you a potion? Just for science. I don't... Um, I don't think it will work on him. Uh, Black Lotus. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, yeah, it says it, it works. Can I give you pork? Are you a human? He didn't eat it, no. Didn't eat pork strips. If you put give that to a human, they'll they'll like immediately eat it. So he's got ten percent from the food, and he's got fifteen percent from the potion, hasn't he? Okay, let's see what you can do, brother. Um, let me put you on attack nothing. Um, for now, till we get in there. I'm going to see what he's like in the wine cellar. Because that's where I really want, like, tanky thralls. You know? 15,000 HP is cool. It is cool. I just wonder if he'll keep it. I mean, it needs to be a big reward, doesn't it? I do like honey, yeah. I do like honey. It needs to be a big reward. Otherwise, um, you know, the fact that it doesn't hit very hard is not very good, is it? Oh, we've got another event spawning here. Oh my god. Okay, let's get in the white cellar beforehand. Enter. So I want to see where he is. He's still following me. Let's deal with Seth. Where are you, bud? I don't know if you'll like fit in here. I want to see if you can bring him into like dungeons. There he is, he's there. Yes, there's that emote problem. So we had this bug. Uh, I haven't mentioned it actually to them, but I'm sh yeah, I'll have to remember to mention it. But we have this bug where I'm trying to do a fatality in a dungeon and it, it just kind of like locks me in this state. And I think somebody said opening my inventory fixed it. Yeah. Yep. And he just stays like that for ages. But I would like, I, otherwise I couldn't move basically they need to fix this sliding bug it's so bad it's really bad when i'm trying to take screenshots and i'm like sliding i'm like i'm in the right position right come on guru what should we call him honey boo boo or something give me a name friendos before he gets killed it's just too big for, he's too big for the door i know do they call that move if looks could kill i'm just gonna have some coffee what can we call him? Come on, bear pun people. I can't believe it's a bear as well, after all the bear puns. Pooh at the hunter. Pooh at the hunter. Smokey. Smokey's a good one. Oh, I can't equip stuff. Oh, I'm bugged. Can't equip my stuff. Hello? Oh, this is a bug. 
four, three, two. None of the numbers work. What if I unequip them? I can't equip my weapons. What the fudge? But I'm powerful. Bugbear. Bu Bubba bear. Builder bear. Attila the boo. Fuzzy woo. Fuzzy. Fuzzy wizzoo. Coffee. At coffee at eight? Why coffee at eight? Berenstein hunter. Berenstein. Also my fatal. I'm like bugged, aren't I? Let's leave here and come back in. Because something's not right. Yeah. Paddington! Ah. The event seems to happen every time we come here now. Can I do it now? Yes, I can. So it's fixed. Okay, so that bug seems to have locked us out of our hotbar. So, because it's single player, Seth will be here again. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody has respawned. Oh, God. I wasn't even trying to do the thing then because I was still in my... So, is he going to come kill me now? Can I be killed? Because there's another dude there. I've just remembered the bear is on passive as well. And fuzzy wuzzy as in fuzzy wuzzy as a bear. Free hugs of Joel Sug. Baloo, brownie, Paddington. I like Paddington. Although we I guess we we probably use that Berenstein. Teddy, I'll name it Teddy. I love that. I call my cat my teddy bear. She's so cuddly. We're like locked in this kind of neutral state here. So I can't do anything unless I press this um tab. That is a that is a game breaking bug. I get the bug, the the dude on it. Okay, this time I can actually use my hot bar. Okay, he's doing more damage as well, isn't he? Although I have given him buffs. I mean, he's not useless now. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Come on then. I still don't know what to call him. Something to do with... You guys are all about bear puns. <laughs> we need a bear pun. Also, I still have this fatality showing. That should have gone by now. That is a bug. Pushy Paddington. Paddington is a good one. Pookie. I can't decide. Um, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Okay. Attack and ice. Go on, big boy. I'm very unnerved when I see relic hunters with katanas. Especially as they're like agility people. Oh. I wasn't so... Okay. I wasn't, I was still in my combo. I will cut your heart this is going to get your thrall killed, probably. If you get this bug. Especially if they're in don't attack. Get her. So let me put him on attack everything. Okay. There's the mini boss. Let's use our short sword. He doesn't know what to do here. I can get him to flee. Can I get you to come down here? Can we fight somewhere else? Moonwalking friendo. useful now isn't he um we got some gauntlets some snackages heart of a hero which is a corruption cleanser 
All right, we're going to take you through this dungeon, my friend. Um, can I get you to drink potions? I can't tell if that's doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is, is it? He does have like 10 heals per second food on him. I don't think it's doing anything. I think it's just his... Uh... I think it's just this. It's like, oh, I think this one is dead already. I can't do anything about it. Okay. Oh, so sometimes I do have that little bug where she doesn't turn. Um, it, when you get onto chapter four, when it releases, the thing to do is to click this auto face forward on attack, which is off by default. It's in the patch notes. They've re-added this to the game. And this fixed that awful camera, it fixes that awful camera facing thing that we had in chapter three. Um, and it's still a thing yeah. in chapter three, I believe. I didn't see you there, madam. Who are you fighting, brother? It'd be kind of funny if he fell off there, but because he's a thrall, he would just like teleport back up. He does struggle with little people. It's like, she's so tiny. I can't hit her. What am I supposed to do? I guess I'm just too big. Oh, God. Okay. Don't do fatalities in dungeons, then, I guess. It, like... Yeah. Okay. I can't access my hotbar again. Yeah. Oh, God. So, um... Let's just go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Has that fixed it? Yeah. If you're on officials and you don't have admin teleports, you can just jump off a cliff in this one and you won't actually die. You just go back to the beginning of the dungeon with your friendo. Um, but yes, when they better fix that before you like before full release. Okay, let's run across here. Um, but yeah, if, if you run out of a dungeon and back in again, you, that counts as teleporting. Um, so you could do that in the other dungeons. It's, it's not always, like, possible, is it? Um, if, fortunately, <laughs> there's no fatalities on skeletons. Um, so the boss fight at the end, where I would not want to be locked out of being able to do any damage, um, we shouldn't have that problem. Prickly pear. Berserker. I like that one. Berserker. We'll do it. I love it. Berserker. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you everybody for your submissions. <laughs> Argos. Argos dust. Shreddy the teddy. I love that. Teddy. Yeah. Okay, let's see how he does with a bunch of skeletons. I mean, they're not really looking at him. Fortunately, there's no more humans in this dungeon. There's, uh, there's only skeleton type creatures. Uh, well, there's other things, but there's no more humanoids, so... Unless you count skeletons as humanoids. Maybe. I guess dead humanoids. If I could put, like, a little, like, light around his neck, can you imagine? He could have, like, a little torch. He could just light the area for me. Definitely want to make sure you have healing food on them. Because even 15,000 HP is kind of crazy, isn't it? 
Um, he does have he does have like a decent amount of carry slots. I mean, you know, he's not he's not like a bearer. She says bitterly. Hi, bud. These guys have been nerfed like in the past few chapters. They don't hit as ridiculously hard as they used to. They used to be terrifying. I just had to check I wasn't in creative mode. He doesn't really stun anybody. Well, he's not really stunning skeletons, is he? I felt like he was knocking people over when we checked last. We got a pristine Kari bow. She's very pretty. Hi, bud. This is my friend. He's very tough. But he doesn't hit that hard. He's just, you know, he's just a big boy. He's the muscle. Okay. Whew. <clears throat> Check our box that usually has grey lotus. It still has grey lotus. Okay. Oh, and we've got padding in here. Okay. But two. Okay. Four padding in there. And dragon powder. Okay. Good for explosives. It'd be very interesting to see how he does in the final fight. I'm interested in that. some water so if you could cease and desist um, we could fight the shell back I guess shell back boss oh he's already like super damaged I don't know why and skeletons. How are you going to fight? This is my friend. He, he's like here to train. He could like fight him instead of me. I, I'm assuming that the potions and food aren't supposed to buff him. Um, but for him to be a viable fighter, he needs to have a lot of health like he does and not die. And he has to actually do some damage, you know? He's, he's having a hard time actually hitting this guy. 15 points. Yeah. Not much for this guy, but I guess this guy has more armor. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Should be doing a bit of stun like action. I think he was doing some stun last time, wasn't he, Falcon? I feel like. This is a this is classed as a world boss. I think he stuns humans. But we're at least able to test him a bit more this time, because last time he just did nothing in terms of damage. Um, although this is a level 21. Um, but I'm glad I spawned... I'm glad I went through the process of um, doing more boss fights, because the ones I spawned in before this update, they, they didn't have this amount of health, so they weren't updated. Just the Kari water skin, dude. I never use these because I like to use purified water. It's personal preferences, but there you go. Some people I know like those. They have more water in them. Okay, so I'm going to make sure we keep him healed up as we go. Um, what was I going to do? Uh, there you go. 
admin him up to full health, just so he doesn't chew through all that food. Just keep it simple. Okay. See how we go. Look at him, he's so creepy. So I am slightly disappointed that the second boss fight, the like corrupted boss, it doesn't look any different. And I'm assuming they're going to change that one. Because when they first released the beta, um, it didn't have any, um, it didn't have that cool like aura for the first fight. And now I would assume that the second fight, the second boss is like going to be more interesting when they're done with the beta. Hopefully. Because it needs to feel different, I think. Okay, let's go to the second boss. He's not going to do all the like fights for you, is he? You'd be there for a long time. See how he does down here. I kind of want to see how this boss uh, does against him. I move him down there. Walks like it's on the moon. He does walk like he's on the moon. It's because his, his animation doesn't give him a big enough stride. He's not even hitting him. We did have this problem with Spinus earlier, though. i deal with these skeletons. Thirteen seven six one. It's healing up very fast. Thirteen five. It's taking like hundred off him with every hit. Big hit. I can get you back over here. Is he good as like a wingman? I got one of them. He's a bit derpy. He struggles to hit things, doesn't he? Because he has such a big kind of swing. It's not very precise. Hello there. Hello, hello. Is it Kurak? No, we're in the wine cellar right now. We could take him to Kurak as well, I guess. But I would expect this boss to defeat him just because he's not doing enough damage and the boss does like at least a hundred. The bear is our follower. There's a reward at the end of the um the end of the event, the new event for chapter four. The boss got bored and wants to fight me now. <laughs> It's so, like, could I just fight her, please? You just can't really hit him. So I'm not going to let him kill my bear. But you can see that, like, that's not very good. There you go, another set of pristine weapon. Uh, these used to be so hard to get. Do you remember? They were so hard to get. The drop rate was incredibly low. Um, it was too low, definitely. But now it's like, it seems to be quite a lot easier to get them. Alright, there's some legendary chests here. I don't have any skeleton keys on me. And this is where you get fragments from. Oh my word. Okay, padding in these boxes as well. That's a lot of padding, isn't it? Alright. Okay, onwards. See how he gets on. Can you show your stats? Can I show... Can you show... St oh, the stats? Of course I can, yeah. His, his damage modifier is 1, by the way. Um, yeah. Testing the new the new beta. I am indeed, yep. Those are his stats. Yep, he's max level. They all... Um, the new iterations of these in this current patch, they start with more HP and then they all had about uh, over 10,000 health. Um, he's called Guru the Hunter. We chat named him Berserker. Berserker. Um, so I'm going to admin help heal him up in between fights. He's got cooked pork. 
um, rinds on him. What are they called? You know, the things you put on wolves. He's got the same food bent, uh, food as wolves. He's got 520 armor, which is a lot of armor, isn't it? Okay. He's just a tank, I would say. Am I going the wrong direction? Did I get... Oh, over here. I lost my bearings. Oh, God, I hate myself for saying that. Sorry, chat. I shall go to the corner immediately. If these, if these guys um, did the same amount of damage as they used to do in, like, sorcery, he would be dead by now because they used to hit so hard. They were terrifying. They scared me as much as the arena champion, I would say. I was very, very respectful of the damage. Especially because my I would usually have a thrall when I would fight these guys. Although this pokey guy never really did as much. This guy is a boss, so he's armoured. So armoured targets, he just doesn't do very much to, I guess. He did 50 in that one swipe. And he's buffed, right? Bear in mind, I fed him... Um, I fed him a potion, a Black Lotus potion, and he's got 10% buff from his um, cooked pork strips as well. So without that, he does even less damage. So I'm hoping that they haven't finished tuning the damage yet and he does a bit more. Because he needs to be a bit more exciting, I think. You know? I guess they've compensated for that by having him super tanky. Um, I also... I wouldn't expect them to have this much health after Chapter 4. Like, I would expect them to be nerfed uh, once you get we get into the next age. Because I don't think they want us to ever have one thing that's like super, super OP. And that's the one thing to have, I guess. That's just, they, you know. Um, so, you know, I would say that with all the thralls. If you ever get one thrall that's just ridiculously OP, bear in mind. Oh, God, the bear bones. <laughs> no, I'm doing it to myself. Um, the, the things are going to change because they just never want us to just get one thing and then the game's over, really. That's my guess. Just my own thoughts. And obviously they want us to have a motivation to do the event, to have like a rewarding pet and a rewarding like, because this is the final reward really. Um, there you go. The pun was unbearable, I hate myself, I hate myself. Bear witness and a bear. <laughs> no, no, no. Why? How did the bear puns even begin? I just, I don't even remember now. It's been so long. Oh, we need a bear remote. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, he's so confusticated. So he should have plenty of HP for the Thag fight, but I'm going to have to kill Thag myself and all the friendos, aren't I? Which is how I fight anyway, or how I spec myself. But if, you take, if you're the kind of person that takes a thrall into dungeons and things because you want them not just to be somebody who's going to survive, if you want somebody who's going to kill stuff, he's currently not the dude for that. Um, he's just a big, big fella who will carry a couple of things. I used to really want Steel Feud for these guys because they hit so hard. The game performs so well in here though. I'm on 120 FPS right now because we're not in the world. It's with streaming. Good boy. Heal you up. 
I guess we'll fight the corrupted Spooder while we're being completionists. Do you think the bear puns start over this patch where we saw the... Was it when we saw the bear boss? Was it? I don't... I think it was before that, Kel. I'm pretty sure it was before the bear... No? I think it would have, must have been like another game or something. I don't know. I have a bad memory though, everybody knows that. Yes. All right, Spooder friendos. I want to see what how you do against spiders. Go on. You should be able to deal with spiders, no problem. This is what you want when you find a spider in your house, isn't it? You're like, I really need like a giant bear to... Wait, wait no, he'd just break the entire house, wouldn't he? Take it back. Sweet. Boulders. Boulders Gate 3. I don't know. I don't remember what... I don't know. Elixir of Grace, nice nice drop. Um, freedom. What is that stamina these days? It used to kind of enable you to not get crippled so much, right? Does it still do that? Maybe not. Come on. Do all these little things. So the corrupted spider is just a world boss. He should be able to survive. But he's not gonna like win the fight by himself, is he? It's a cool looking fight, but this pink stuff drags you into it. I hate it. And obviously corrupts you. It's be the longest fight in history. Sometimes he doesn't even do 50, H, uh, 50 damage to the enemy. I scream like a kill and run! Is there allergic to spiders? Kind of Are you allergic? See, it pulls you in. I hate that. Yeah. I generally don't scream when I see a spider anymore, but I did walk into the kitchen the other day and a spider had like lowered itself down on a string, like a bit of gossamer or whatever, a string and was right in front of me. I screamed and like, like ran straight out the kitchen. My poor cat must have thought something serious was, was happening. Um, yeah, I was freaking terrified, but that's because it just presented itself next to me. But I'm not really scared of them anymore, generally, unless they're like, you know, right next to me. So yeah, this fight will go on until we die, just generally in life. So we're going to have to do it. He's just going to live, that's all. Wouldn't it be cool if he had a phased... If he had phased attacks based on how much HP the enemy had? Like a boss. You know, like halfway through the enemy's health. Or something. So yeah, expect to do all the damage yourself, otherwise you'll be here forever. This is why you keep the heart of a hero. Be one hit now. There we go. God, <laughs> it's not high octane, is it? Okay, so can we eat the heart of a hero? There we go. So clear our corruption. We got that from the mini boss at the beginning. Um, there should be. There's no chests here anymore, are there? No, just uh, regular chests. That's it. Dragon powder is good though. Okay, he's already back to full health. All right. Berak pregnant. <laughs> We checked these already, didn't we? All right, let's go to the final boss area and see how he does with the thag fight. Harvest for skeleton key. I could do Shinrin, but because we're on the uh, beta, I just don't care. You're right, though. We should harvest for the skeleton key. 
Bum, ba -dum, bum. Kale remembers. Was it was it from was it from Baldur's Gate, the bear puns? Is that where they started? Feels like a long time ago for it to have I, I feel like it was more recent than that, but prepared to be incorrect. So the only thing is about eating the heart already is this like corrupting uh, skellies here. This one guy. There you go. Okay, no one else should corrupt us now. Um, that bug with the fatalities is kind of most obnoxious probably in somewhere like Dagon where you've swam down and you can't necessarily just leave the dungeon quickly. Um, so bear that in mind. I'm going to move past the word bear. Let's pretend I just never said it in my life. He's really, I would call him like cuddly bear or something because he's just, he doesn't really hurt anybody. He just kind of, you know, cuddles them, you know, and it just, nothing happens really. <sighs> what about the final boss fight? Are there skellies all white? Um, you mean you're talking about corruption? I mean, I usually eat the heart of a hero before the fight starts. I don't know, do any, I think they do, um, I think they will corrupt us. Um, how do you feel, bud? Are you okay? You ready to fight here? So normally, I would, I'm not going to put him on attack nothing because I just want to see what happens, really. Um, what am I going to use? I'm just going to stick with these weapons. I think I'm going to use my heart's blood, actually. Um, I think... I feel like they were the most fun thing against Thag with this build. He's already in there. Oh, he's so dramatic. So I'm going to assume I'm going to have to do the most. The main thing I just want to see is if he just survives this fight. Because this is one of the fights where I generally like to have a throw with a decent amount of HP. Just because there's a lot of skelly skellies that spawn in. Can go on for a while. That gouge against Thag. Or I could just use my hammer. Do more damage with this. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> You're not supposed to be there. He's not even paying attention to the berserker. This is a faced fight as well. Here we go. Whoa, that's not fair. It just happened to be on it. Bum, 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 bum. Do, do, do. I guess as I sunder the boss, then the berserker will do more damage to him. Because he doesn't do as much to armor targets. So I'm helping him do more damage, I guess. I do loads of damage with this weapon. Normally the next phase will have started by now because we would have had loads more from our thrall. It doesn't even recognise the bear as like a threat. Like, I don't know who this guy is. Could you get someone get this guy off? He's tickling me. So I like to use my 
two-handed sword for these skeletons. And usually I put the, my thrall and attack nothing so that I can just keep their attention on the boss. And then I can deal with these little skellings. Lost a bunch of health. Okay, switch back. So we could try the healing arrows, which I haven't tried yet. I think that's helping. Yeah, I see the uh, I see the things above him. He kind of, it basically is like a human. I would expect him to survive the fight, as long as we're like, involved. Otherwise he would just like, eventually Fag would just, like, and the skeletons would just kill him. That stuff on the ground hurts, you gotta be careful. He also gets in the way a little bit. Okay, next phase. Okay, deal with the skellies. You just need him to survive while you do what you got to do, really. Nearly dead. A couple of hits. There we go. Go on, you take him, Berserker. Go on, one hit. Okay. There we go. Add a boy. Okay, we got the hammer of thag. 65 damage, 45% armor pen. Corrupted. Okay. So it should corrupt enemies. We got Kari weaponry and a Kari thing. I mean, so he survived the entire wine cellar, but we also do a lot of damage, don't we? You know, so we can solo this. We're specced for soloing it. Um, and if you aren't specced for soloing it, or I mean, if you were the bunch of people, then you'd be fine as well. Um, yeah, I guess you could have war party and have a human to like also fight who actually does a bunch of damage, but then I don't know, you know. He's more like a fun kind of gimmick than anything else at the moment, I would say. Um, it's good that they've given him loads of health because otherwise he's just gonna like he's just gonna get killed. And then all that work was for nothing, all those boss fights and stuff. Um I put you on attack nothing. Passive. Oh god. Should we see how he does in this event? Come on. Let's see. I would expect him to die in this event, honestly. In the name of Set, identify yourself. Turd wallet. Oh. 
There's a lot of already dead people, which is interesting. So we can already solo everything. Um, so he's just like, he's just like a cuddle friend, really. He does more to humans because they have less armor, I guess. He's, he's a decent AoE. We should see how he does in the Siege of El Moriah, shouldn't we? That's, now, if he does a big AoE and you're being surrounded by a lot of people, that could be a use for him if he didn't get killed. He could just kind of stun the enemy while you were, like, kicking butt. It's a guy in the tree. <laughs> so like, I don't know how we got here. Kind of trying to observe him. dipped out. He can't target him. I mean, it's useful that he's taking aggro. Again. You got scared to death when you saw them coming towards them. Yeah. <laughs> Turd wallet. That's <laughs> very <Throw me> wrong. <laughs> Turn the pearls into werewolf. No. The hammer bag, yeah. This is a new follower, yeah. Um, I thought all those enemies are just dropping from the generic above like some kind of Mr. Bean. What's the stitch now? Oh, here we go. I would say the Purge and the Siege of Almeria are why I really started using heavy armor again. Because um, generally I would run around wearing medium armor. But like whenever I've got all these like big groups of enemies now, I just wear my Stygian soldier armor. got my fatality buff although i can already two shot them with a heavy attack so i don't really need it it's not going to change it from a two two shot oh bear friend only needs help i don't think the bear puns were from boulder's gate because i don't think were they maybe they were from boulder's gate was it a bear in the cave that we met maybe we like charmed. You really want to start this fight with a full health like weapon. I could just it's just so funny because this is like hordes of people around this monster. You know? And they're just he's a just he's just a distraction. Oh here we go. Next it's the bo the boss time. Oh, you're so confused. You want to come stand away from that rock? Are you stuck in the rock, bud? Okay. Are they? 
You're such a cool enemy. Legion healing ouch. It's like, why is this giant bear attacking me? Ooh. Oh, he hurts, my friend. You have to kill you quickly. You better not kill, kill Berserker. We keep aggro. This is fine as long as he stays ugly than me. But, but again, it just basically means you, you are essentially soloing the game. You just have a big tank who's just supposed to survive next to you. Just occasionally draws aggro, maybe tickles the enemy. Oh, there's a bug there with no, no title. All right. Well, we survived. Well done, Berserker friendo. Can I admin heal you? Because, you know, it's just easier that way. Okay. Loads of armor that you can loot from these people. Stygian stuff from Sipta. Oh, and I can barely remember. Fortress of Armor is very fun. I thought his enemies just dropping gear. Yeah. With the with the weapons connected to the bear cub. Maybe the bear cub, Falcon, yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Um with the tavern update. Maybe that's what it was. Well, he survived the wine cellar. He survived um a surge. Uh, not a surge. What is it called? A storm. What is it called? Event. An event. Okay, so I guess let's see what happens when we're like, oh, look, a thrall we want to tame. Uh, wait, how do I put my... Okay, X. I don't know why I forgot that for a minute. So, okay, hypothetically, so I guess we could just put him on flee. Um, but if you're like running around and you want to tame a thrall... Da -da -da -dum -bum. Da -da -da -dum -bum. See if there's anyone worthy of our attention. Run around the usual haunts. I don't even like bother to bring a horse with me. Mind you, I do teleport around when we're on the beta because I'm just like admining to places. Just for eat. Oh! Hang on a minute. This is new. This is new. Dun, dun, dun. I didn't know about this. I'm not taking screenshots. You're taking screenshots. His signs <gasps> are nigh. You can speak to him. Did we wait? I'm pretty sure because that wasn't even in the game yet. That was like a placeholder. I'm pretty sure this has only just been added. Hearken to the whisper at the back of the skull where reptiles swim in the primal soup. A vague memory rises. A name. An ancient god of darkness and primordial fear to whom once both men and beasts bowed and whose children still lurk in the dark corners of the world. Read his name, raggedy and red, Jebal Sag. Read his name, scribed upon the flesh of prey, Jebal Sag. All right, mate, calm down. Have you seen his signs? In the long ago, the prince of beasts ruled all animals, including humankind, and all creatures communed in a common tongue. He once ruled where newer gods now reign. He will reign again. 
When the other gods fall, his return is nigh. Mm -hmm. The faithful gather and make ready for the sacrament of the hunt. The faithful compete to be his champion. See, oh, look north of the nameless city, east of the shattered springs, southwest of the den. Hearken to the mm -hmm. whisper at the back of the skull. So it's telling you how to find the um the, the beam. <laughs> I guess, right? A name, an ancient god of darkness and primordial fear. Is that what he's saying? Men and beasts bowed. I assume. His sign. Read his name. Have you seen his signs? He once ruled where. The faithful gather and make ready for the sacrament of the hunt. The faithful compete to be. Look north of the mm -hmm. nameless city, east of the shattered springs, yeah. southwest of the dead. Yeah. And also Hunter that. Or hunted, you are blessed by Jabal Saar. Thank you. Yeah, he's just basically telling us to look in that direction where the beam is. Okay, cool. I like that. Anytime they add this stuff to the, uh, the Exile Lands, it's kind of cool. Um, there are usually people outside here, aren't there? I mean, admittedly, um, whenever there's one of these events um, and these guys kind of spawn in, then usually there's no other, like, NPCs in that kind of vicinity. Okay, interesting. All right, let's see if we can find a thrall and knock him out and see what happens. Um, random one, been playing Kona since the game started testing to help official service do they have any live admins for their official service i'm sure you know this much. i don't know sorry to disappoint you i don't know yeah i don't know how they do that i assume they, they just presumably do that with staff um i know they have like volunteers for like um um they have like moderators and things for other things but i'm pretty sure that i, I don't know is the answer i would just be guessing sorry i don't know Across and earlier today, down by Narrow Next Span, also on the beta. Um, Narrow Next Span. Uh, remind me where that is? Is that like a river off the of New River? Or a stream off New River? I can't think exactly where that is. Bum, ba, dum. Yeah, there should be people here. But because of the event, they haven't, haven't spawned. Kitty! And here, there should be people too. Can we see somebody? Well, just pick. I'm looking for named people because it's just programmed within me. But uh, if we, if we see someone, I don't know. If we don't see a name person, we'll just use anybody. I mean, so this would be quite a good location to test, like, knocking people out, I guess. Because quite often you, you just aggro a lot of people. Uh, although here you really want to use, like, purple lotus orbs if you... If you... I don't know. Um... So can I knock people out in time? In the name of Set, identify yourself. It is it is like a village discovering a monster and like everybody's trying to attack it from some kind of like comic book or something or like cave painting I've got no point to authority this is such tension so he's kind of handy isn't he right especially if you have a named person or whatever I don't think he's killed anybody yet. He's just providing a distraction. Did 
Did anybody die? You get extra honey if nobody died. Oh, I was extra gentle today, Anna. I promise I wasn't trying to hurt the people. No, I don't think anybody died. So he could use him for that. He, that guy just doesn't care. The guy's like, I'm not paid enough for this. There you go. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Move over east of Galleron's East of Sinner's Refuge. So what was the thing you said? You ran across... Oh, uh, uh, was, uh, was it at the... Um, what is it called? So another event. Um, what was it called again? I remember. Yeah. Um, where's Death Whisper? Down there? Was it down there? Because they, they did have one of those back in Sorcery when they had all these events originally. Oh, the Jabal Sad guy! Oh, really? And, uh, did you have a coordinate for it? If I show you my map. I just can't remember. But I don't have everything like populated. Like this kind of area-ish. So there's a couple of dudes on the map then telling you where to go. Giving you a bit of guidance. It's kind of cool. In the pirate camp. Like over here, where the event was. Like here. The event was spawned there. There you go, I think. Like in this bit. That's tough, Ari. Dun, 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 dun. This is where the event was, wasn't it? South and the ferry. In E8? What, up there? That's a completely different place. Jabal Sag. No, we're not looking for that. We're not looking for the uh, access to the. De we're not looking for the de the den or access to the midnight grove. We're looking for something else. Um, what does H to J three to four like here? Like here. What did E eat? Oh my god! I can only apologise for these jokes. Um, there's some eggs here. Can I just double check? I can't harvest them. Oh no, they're just feathers. Oh, kill the birds. Go on. No. Did he kill the birds? No. Sad. That's a very broad, like, range. Bum, 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 Was it at a camp? Um, let me see what you said originally. Do you know the name of the mod which forces to spawn tier fours and named ones NPCs? No, but I think if you search for tier fours or the word named, I think it will come up. Somebody else might know. I've never used it, but... Um, Bum, bum, bum. I'm trying to think where, which exactly where it is. Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun, dun. Okay, well, um, thank you everybody so much for hanging out. I think I've got to go eat something. I've just, my like sugar, blood sugar has like just dropped out of nowhere. Um, so I'm going to go make some dinner. Uh, I might be live again later. We'll see. Um, thank you everybody so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the support on the stream. I really appreciate it. Um, and if not later, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. I've had a lot of fun, like, exploring this. If you think of anything, if you notice anything, make sure you write it in the Discord if you want me to check it out. Uh, follow me on Twitter, follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, all the good things. If you want to see my previous plays, uh, like, exploration of the beta, you can check those out on the YouTube channel. There's a bunch of stuff. Purge items and the events and all that stuff. So, all right, people. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.